Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone, all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there is doing well. So this is going to be a love reading, you guys. We're going to pull, get my light right, hold on. Okay, we're going to pull some messages here and see what it is that you guys need to know about your love life. So if anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you have not. Also comment if anything resonates. If you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, let's go. So we pulled some messages through music and we got Trey Song Circle. Mm. Circle. So I feel like you got somebody going around and around and around in circles. Like this person don't know exactly what it is maybe that they need to do. But it's like you just got this person going in circles here. This could be someone that's going in circles because they miss you. You and this person used to have deep conversations and they missed it. You were very nurturing, very giving person. You could have been like a Scorpio or a Virgo energy. You know, I had those placements in your chart. But you were very nurturing, very giving to this person. And they really missed it. This person could be going in circles. Maybe they're trying to make a decision here because they realize that you were the best thing that has ever happened to them. So this is past tense. So for some of you, this could be a past person that you're dealing with, okay? And since you guys have been in separation, they realize, shit, you were the best thing that has ever happened to them, period, okay? Why? Because your presence brought a lot of happiness. So someone here realized that you were the best thing that was in their life. So this could be someone, maybe they ain't been so happy, okay? What's that song? Ain't no sunshine when she gone, okay? So this person, maybe ain't been a lot of sunshine in this person's life since you've been gone, but they realized that you were the best thing in their life because you were someone who truly made this person happy. So this is why this person's going around in circles, like trying to figure this shit out. Like, I feel like this is someone who once was in denial about like their feelings and how you made them feel and what this connection really was to them. But it's like now this person, I feel like understands and maybe they're acknowledging their feelings, you know, it's like they realize on a soul level, like, ain't nobody else in this world for them. Like, this person feels like your soul and their soul is connected. Like, you guys have some type of soul contract. And they feel like it ain't nobody else in this world that can take your place. This person, you could have sent them pictures. You know what I'm saying? Or they have some type of picture of you. Maybe saved in their phone or something, but it's like it really makes their heart melt. So this is someone who really loves you. You know, like this is someone like you're just seeing your face makes their heart melt. Like that's how much love and feelings and emotions this person really does have for you, okay? All right, so let's pull some more messages. Let's get a little deeper in this love reading. And see what it is that spirit wants you to know. Now, if anything resonates for you guys. Don't forget to like this video, okay? All right, messages for my collective here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What, what, what's going on in their love life? I can't get my words. <laughs> what's going on in my collective love life, Holy Spirit? What is it that they need to know? Messages for my collective, Holy Spirit. What's going on in their love life, Holy Spirit? What is it that they need to know? Messages for the collective. What's going on in their love life? All right, you guys, we got deception, okay? So someone here in your love life could be wearing a false mask, okay? So this could be someone that's deceiving you or someone that maybe deceived you in the past, someone who lied to you, or maybe someone was wearing a mask. Maybe this is someone who didn't really want you to see them for who, you know, they truly were. This could be someone, remember I said that maybe they needed to make some type of choice because we have two people here. 
So this could be someone that tried to make you believe something that wasn't true. Maybe this person wasn't honest with you about something, but there is some type of deception that was going on now, or this could could be some deception that was going on in the past. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What's going on in my collective love life? All right, we have getting to know one another, okay? So I feel like maybe this person, you didn't really get a chance to get to know them because remember, this could have been someone who was wearing a mask. Maybe this person, they want to reveal their true authentic self. So this person could have been like pretending to be something that they weren't. Okay, maybe this person was pretending to be mean or an asshole or maybe they pretended to be this and that. But this person was like the opposite of whatever it was that you, you saw them or how you saw them. We have getting to know one another. So some of you, maybe you've met someone new or you'll be meeting someone new. Okay, or maybe you and this person didn't get a chance to know one another. You didn't get a chance to reveal your innermost selves to each other and your your bond deepen. So I feel like there was some deception that was in a relationship in the past. Because remember, we had you were the best thing in my life. So I feel like some of you that's no longer dealing with someone, there was some type of deception in this relationship. Okay, and this person realized is wearing that false mask, not allowing you to see them be their true authentic self, or either keeping something from you possibly harmed this connection. Okay, now some of you could be dealing with someone new. You know, you possibly taking your time, you know, getting to know one another. Maybe you guys are going out on dates, you know what I'm saying, having y'all little date nights and stuff like that. But it's like the more that you talk to this person, the more time that you spend with this person, like you will understand, like you and this person really do have a lot in common. And that's going to help your bond deepen between you and someone here, okay? And as your bond deepens, you can realize like, shit, this person could be your true love, okay? This romance, this connection that you share with this person, like this can be some shit that lasts a lifetime here, okay? Y'all take it how it resonate. Messages for my collective Holy Spirit. What's going on in their love life here? So some of you, you can have two people in your energy, okay? You can have this past person and maybe you're not dealing with them. And then you either have this current person you're dealing with now, or this could be someone that you will be meeting in the future here, okay? Tell us more about the collective love life, Holy Spirit. Okay, you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. So some of you, maybe you've been single for a while, and it was maybe because you were in this codependent energy, okay? Maybe you thought that, you know, sometimes when you don't deal with someone for a while, you know, you don't feel attractive or you don't feel like people want you. But Spirit could have put you by yourself because they wanted you to learn about your worth. Learn that you are very valuable, okay? Practice on self-love and, and knowing your worth so that you don't have to feel so codependent. You know, feeling like feeling like you're you're only worthy or you only mean something when you're with someone else. So this could be in the connection that you're dealing with now. Maybe someone could be in a codependent energy. Our spirits wanted to let you know that you are worthy of great things, but your worth doesn't depend on if you have a man or if you have a woman or if you're talking to someone or if someone is interested in you, okay? Your work depends on how you feel about yourself, okay? Messages for the collective Holy Spirit. What do they need to know about their love life? Messages for the collective. What do they need? Ooh, what do they need to know, Holy Spirit, about their love life? All right, we got forgiveness. Some of you need to forgive someone from your past, okay? You need to allow the water to wash away the pain from the past. And say, some of you could be swimmers. Maybe you live near a body of water. But, you know, just allowing yourself to maybe drown in, in your emotions so that you can release them. But I feel like forgiving someone is going to help wash away some type of pain that you could be currently holding on to. We got heart to heart conversation. So some of you are going to have some type of heart to heart conversation with someone. Now, this could be someone that you're dealing with now. You're going to honestly discuss with this person like your feelings. They're going to honestly discuss, you know, with you how they feel. And this could be someone that maybe was wearing this false mask and didn't reveal to you how they truly felt in the past. OK, this could be someone that feels like on a soul level that you're the one that's meant for them. And this could be someone that's coming in to have a heart to heart conversation with you 
you can feel like you and this person are drawn to each other. It's like this connection you share like magnets. And there's a gravitational pull towards one another. We got love language and physical touch. A tender touch means so much, okay? So someone here can maybe like to kiss you like around your neck, your ears, and stuff like that. But it's like you could be a person that likes a lot of physical touch. You know, maybe you, it feel good. I don't know about y'all. Hell yeah, I want somebody, you know, it's going to touch a rub. I want me to slap my ass. And, you know, stuff like that. It's like those tender touches, they mean so much to you. So you can be a person that loves physical contact. Or this could be a person that loves, you know, to touch and feel on you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is going on in my collective love life? Messages for the messages for my collective here. I hope something here has been resonating. All right, we got unexpected connection. Okay, so some of you guys, you can have an unexpected connection with someone. Okay, you can be meeting someone now or dealing with someone now. It's like unexpectedly, there's going to be a connection because there's opposites. Like you and this person could be opposite, but those opposites do attract. So there can be some type of unexpected connection that happens between you and someone else. And then we also have romantic feelings, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? So this could be someone from your past. You can unexpectedly reunite with them. This could be someone new. But whoever this is, your feelings are real. Those feelings that you have for this person, they are real and worth exploring, okay? And this could be why you and this person are going to need to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, okay? All right, you guys. So let's go to the who did. We're going to close out this reading and see who this reading is about. Now, if anything has resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay? Messages for my collective. Now, these cards can be describing you guys, or this could be describing your person here, okay? All right, messages for my collective, Holy Spirit. What is it that my collective needs to know? Messages for the collective. What do they need to know? All right, so this could be about someone age 18 to 20. We got big eyes. Someone who has freckles. We got average height male. Who is this reading about for my collective Holy Spirit? All right, someone who has big feet, salt and pepper hair, thick eyebrows, and a bald head. Okay, let's get one more. Who is this reading about for the collective Holy Spirit? One more want to come out. I'm going to just take this off the top. All right, and this could be about someone that's tall, over six feet tall, okay? All right, so let's get the signs, y'all. Let's see who this reading is about. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. We got Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries. And we also have Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.